Hey everyone, the Shuffle Buffer here. We got another Swansea career mode episode. Uh, in this episode, we have two Champions League games and a Barclays Premier League games. First of all, we've got Bayern Munich at home, then we've got Everton away, and then we have Bayern Munich away. So, um, we're coming into the big uh, moments of the Champions League. And we've got a lot of games running together, so we are having tired players. So unfortunately, in the uh, second Bayern Munich game, we do have to play Augustine, um, who is a reserve player, really, um, up at centre mid. So as you can see, Boney there, um, Alaba sort of tackles him. The ball flicks up nicely for him, and it's a lovely volley into the left side of the uh, goal there. And here, Forrest probably could have done a bit better. But uh, it's a nice shot there, and a nice some nice movement to uh, get the shot on um, the shot off on goal there. And unfortunately for uh, fortunately for us, Ribery just puts that over the uh, crossbar. But it's a really nice volley there from um, Ribery. So as you can see, they have been all over us. 58% possession, four shots to two, and two on target to one. So they have been uh, doing much better than us in the first half. Um, so we are at home, so I did really expect to do better, but at the end of the day, we are playing against Bayern Munich, who have probably quite a few 90s in their teams, and as you can see, they got Cavani. Uh, they also had Benzema, who they brought on, which means that Real Madrid have probably bought um, someone, and Gomez has gone s somewhere else, uh, most likely, since they have Cavani. But Boney in the 90th minute manages to make it 2-0, and that is a great goal for us because it means that we uh, have two goal lead when we go away. And obviously Bayern Munich is such a strong team that it's going to be it would have been hard to uh, keep that one goal lead. So the two goals makes it a real big buffer for us to uh, for when we go away against Bayern Munich. And they uh, they try to break away, but they get tackled, and the ref blows the whistle when we kick it back up to the halfway line. So that's uh, Boney getting two goals there, showing that he is definitely worth the price uh, tag that we paid for him. And uh, I think we were quite lucky to get away with the 2-0, but I guess it's just the finishing at the end of the uh, day that mattered, what with uh, them having nine shots to three and five on target to two. So um, next we have Everton away. So this is um, a decently large game. I mean, we uh, lost to them in the FA Cup um, a few episodes ago, might have been the last episode. So we definitely wanted to uh, do better this time, um, even though we're away instead of at home. And Key there, uh, blasting it over the post, uh, over the crossbar, unfortunately. And this game was quite back and forth, but um, we definitely had most of the game going our way. Um, they'd occasionally break, but they wouldn't. You, it wouldn't usually uh, end up in any sort of shot or goal. But Mahid there with a nice left um, left shot there, left footed shot into the bottom corner that sort of curls around the keeper and uh, goes in. So what I meant was they had one shot and one on target. We had four shots, one on target. You saw three of them, um, the one on target being the goal and the two others just being blasted over the crossbar, unfortunately. But um, some hesitation from their player. Jadson picks it up and a wonderful shot there looping over the keeper into the top corner there from Jadson. Here Mahid managing to get onto the ball but unfortunately the RB shot just goes wide there and that is pretty much all that happened in the second half even though we had a lot more shots they were pretty much all off target and Everton didn't even manage to get one shot off um, one more shot there. Um, unfortunately Aldasari does get injured for seven days which uh, obviously makes it a bit more annoying for when we are playing Bayern Munich uh, now away uh, and you'll see in a moment that they are playing uh, the same team they had in the last game and obviously we're playing Augustine at the defensive mid because Key and Jadson are way too down on their own um, fitness uh, here we get a nice chance but unfortunately once again it's just gone over the um, crossbar if he'd kept it down we could have been 1-0 up quite early in the game Boney here managing to uh, put it forward and hitting the crossbar. I think it was Muniain, which is, again, really annoying because it's a great chance for us to uh, get that away goal, meaning that we'll probably go through. Um, as you can see, we were all over him in the first half. Um, 
it's pretty much like what they were like in the uh, first half of the uh, our home game and Muller there with a lovely drill shot through the uh, defense and going right into the bottom corner there and here Robin whips in a ball and Bad Suba's quite unlucky that that didn't go in because if it was just on target the likelihood is they would have been 2 nil up and we would have had to fall back um, quite a bit harder so I did decide to take Boney off for um, Bernard there and put Muniain as the striker just because Mahid was down on the energy and um, I just wanted to see what Muniain would be like as a uh, centre forward but um, it does seem to pay off because in this highlight here where we managed to keep the ball just outside their box Carraro gives it to Bernard and Bernard smashes it past the keeper into the top corner there making it one all and essentially making sure that we do go through because now they need two goals in 13 minutes to be able to um, uh, to be able to go through now uh, I believe Schweinsteiger now goes off and then they're going to, to how I think they have the corner in the 90th minute so yeah Schweinsteiger goes off for Miguel Veloso and they have the corner now which Ribery puts in and unfortunately they score but um, at the end of the day it's just a consolation because we managed to win that game well win it overall on aggregate because of that away goal and meaning we go through to the next round of the Champions League I'm now just going to show you the uh, how their games went Obviously, we beat uh, uh, by Munich, and uh, that's what it looks like currently. So we are at the end of the episode. So I've been Chef Buffle. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.